Hello YouTube. Mike Kaylee 7 here, coming to you from the 2019 Honda Goldwing Tour DCT. And as I ride here, first I'll say thank you for watching my videos and commenting and being so nice. Most of you are very nice. The ones who aren't, they don't watch me anymore. Or they can watch me, but they can't comment. Ha ha ha. I think I'm good with my cameras here. I think everything is properly angled. Put up this windshield a bit here. Sorry about the dirty windshield. I'll get to it. Shout out to Larry Hauser. I know, it, it pisses him off when he sees the dirtiness. My garage is dirty, my driveway is dirty. Odd couple. That's what we would be. I would be uh, Oscar Madison. Madison, not Madison. Listen to me. I put up a video last night. Somebody, I think an on car, had asked me to put up uh, pictures from the trip. So I went through my iPhone and I selected almost every picture that I took and videos and uh, made a big video out of them in iMovie. Uploaded that thing. And so now it's like an hour and 20 minutes or something. It's the longest video I've ever made. It's basically a slideshow with that music repeating. Do, 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 do. Oh. Anyway. Some people like it. You can kind of watch it in spurts. How about that? If you don't want to watch the whole thing, you don't have to. Just watch 10 minutes of it, come back later, watch another 10 minutes, maybe in six months you'll be done. I found a folder in my heart, in my uh, terabyte drive that I forgot I put in there because I was, at, the, at that point in the trip, I was kind of bleary-eyed. I um, made a folder called at the end and that was basically from leaving the Tetons all the way to leaving Louisville Kentucky I did misspeak by the way in a, in a previous video I said we went through uh, Louisville and then into Indiana or, yeah, or Illinois and that was wrong I meant to say St. Louis we saw the St. Louis Arch briefly. I didn't go up it, no. I didn't go near it, no. I just saw it in the distance because we were driving to get home. I want to go straight. Something tells me I don't want to go straight. Watch out, Chucky. So anyway, I have a bunch of videos up now, or not up, I have a bunch of videos that I'm going to be processing. One is uh, from Daniel, Wyoming. Another one is going through Colorado. And we have um, the windiness of uh, Kansas entering into St. Louis and getting into Illinois and then leaving uh, Louisville, Kentucky, toward home, and I think that'll be about all for that for the mega trip that I took. And of course, this video is in there, you know, is is in my little lineup to get, to kind of give you a, a list of coming attractions, I guess. <laughs> While I'm here, let me do a little review real quick of these gloves. These are the Climb Badlands Aero gloves. I've had these since I think May of this year. So what about five months? And I'll tell you what happened. See they got this nice mesh right? See that mesh? And uh, notice how I'm showing you my glove and I don't have to shift. Ha ha ha! Anyway, this mesh but when I was putting them on one of the very first times, it started to rip. It was a small hole at first, and it got bigger and bigger and bigger, as you can see there. So that kind of sucks. I got this massive sunburn in that spot. 
on this side you can see I've got holes right around the fingers somebody might say well, that's because your hands too big no 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 it's the right size they told me to measure and I measured exactly the way they told me and so yeah so that kind of sucks but I contacted Climb they told me to take a bunch of pictures, which I did. Hopefully they will accept the pictures. They said, it has to be in JPEG. Well, I don't know what iPhone pictures are in. So I sent the email with all the pictures. And hopefully they will say, yeah, we will replace those gloves. Because, you know, I think they have a warranty of like a year or something. I don't know. Hopefully they'll be good to me. I also have, so oh, yeah, so comfort-wise, very comfortable to wear. I've worn these uh, for 11,000 something miles now, 11,314 miles, and they're great, very comfortable, I feel safe in them, even though I know they don't have as much impact protection as some other gloves, but they are summer gloves, mesh, you know, got that big knuckle thing, doesn't have that pinky deflector thing, but oh well, I don't know if you know what that is, pinky deflector thing is, they put a little device on the outside of your pinky at the base knuckle you know up here and then they that that's supposed to keep it from your pinky from bending the other way or whatever I don't know if it actually works go ahead oh well, you're good <laughs> I thought they were going that way yeah they cinch on pretty nice this jacket makes it really hard to put on anything with gauntlets Unless the gauntlets are super wide. So the held Airstream 2 gloves that I got don't really go with this jacket very well. It's such a pain in the ass. So I, I have the short cuff gloves. That's what I like with this jacket. If I need add-on gauntlets, maybe I'll just buy something to add on. But that's just a pain in the butt. So these gloves, I would say, are worth it. I think they were like $67 or something. I can't remember anymore. But they, they feel good. They do their job. Well, when the Velcro's working. And hopefully they'll get replaced. So that's the um, Climb Badlands Aero Glove. Yellow light there. I'm good. So this week, well, it's a Monday. I think it's October 12th or 13th or 14th. <laughs> I don't know anymore. It's Columbus Day. Sorry, Discoverer's Day. Indigenous People's Day. All I know is I don't get it off. Damn it. They should call it, my Kaylee 7 doesn't get the day off day. How about that? And I'm on my way to work again. Look, they're putting in a new road up here. If you watch my videos over time, you can slowly see this area grow and develop and all that. So the school is so big now, they had to put in another road to get in there for the new parking lots. So this is going to be an entry and exit at some point soon. All right, so I'm going to let you go now. It's my Kaylee 7. I'll talk to you later.